Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and today we're going to talk about labyrinthitis. First of all, what is labyrinthitis? It is the inflammation of the labyrinth of the inner ear. If you do not know what the labyrinth is, you can go back to my other videos, watch the videos in general about the ear and specifically about the inner ear for the labyrinth. So to quickly sum it up again, in case you watched the video and have forgotten a little bit what it is, the labyrinth is part of the inner ear, it is the part that is responsible for balance and it consists of a complex set of fluid feel filled canals. These canals are in different planes and when the head moves side to side, up and down or in a tilting movement, then the fluid inside these canals moves and signalizes the brain via the nerve, that uh, via the eighth cranial nerve, that there is a movement of the head. So this is important for proprioception, for coordination and any other kind of movement. There are different causes for a labyrinthitis. There can be tympanogenic, so coming from the tympanic membrane. Uh, tympanogenic causes are, for example, uh, otitis media, which spreads into the inner ear. It can be also of bacterial origin, when there is a complication of a meningitis, and there are also viral causes. Those viruses can be um, the virus causing measles and sostreoticus and the mumps virus. Then there are different autoimmune diseases, tumors, allergies, and even possibly a stroke or a trauma, which can lead to this kind of inflammation. How can you notice if you have or your patient has this kind of inflammation? The patient will present with vertigo, dizziness, a tinnitus, nausea, vomiting, headache, fever, vision disturbances like for example double vision, and there will be a facial weakness or paralysis. Diagnosis can be done first of all by anamnesis. If the patient had any of the causes in the previous time, then you can know that this is an indication for labyrinthitis. However, it is relatively rare. Also, imaging techniques, neurological examination and hearing tests can give an indication that this um, disorder might be found in your patient. The treatment depends on the origin of this labyrinthitis and it can be, depending on the origin, co uh, treated with antihistamines, antimuscarins, antivirals, antibiotics and also corticosteroids and maybe even surgery might be necessary. This is an inflammation which is very difficult to treat because the labyrinth is so far in the inner ear and it's difficult for medication to actually reach this place in a sufficient amount. So it might be necessary to prolong the treatment or maybe repeat the treatment several times and to make sure by imaging techniques and other examinations that the um, infection really passed when you send your patient home or maybe even ask them to come back for a checkup a few weeks or months later. Labyrinthitis can also cause different complications like for example meningitis, permanent vertigo and balance disability and also permanent hearing loss. This was all for this video, I hope it was helpful. If you have questions just post it in the comments, I will try to answer as soon as possible. I hope it was clear and he helpful and I would be very happy if you could subscribe. Thank you very much.